Hi, Pastor Adriel and Dr. Horton. This is Carol from San Diego County. Um, I have a question for you. Um, in the first chapter of Job, beginning in verse 6, um, I have like a minor and major uh, question that I want to pose. Um, minor being, in quote, sons of God. Is this referring to the fallen angels? And then um, more so, I have heard it said that Satan or the Satan in Job is not referring to Lucifer that got casted out of heaven, but rather an adverse, adversary. Adversary, I'm sorry. Um, in my opinion, depending on who it is, uh, changes the whole reasoning for Job's trials and tribulations. Thanks. And mm. by the way, I love your podcast and the grace both of you provide to some very difficult questions. Continue to do the good work God has given you. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Carol. So Sons of God here is a reference to the angelic being the angelic beings that are in God's court. You imagine the heavenly temple filled with angels that execute God's commands throughout the world. Now, among them, according to that verse, was Satan, whose very name means adversary. And so this is one of the ways that the Bible is described throughout the Bible. So to, to that second part of your question, I would say you know, it's talking about the devil, Satan, the, the, the chief fallen angel, if you will. And this is how the, the scriptures describe him. Uh, Peter said in 1 Peter 5, 8, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. It actually seems like Peter is alluding to the scene in Job 1 because in Job 1, 7, the very next verse, we read, the Lord said to Satan, from where have you come? And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro on the earth and from walking up and down on it. So it seems like um, Peter's actually picking up on, on what, mm. what we have in Job chapter 1. So Job's adversary and your adversary today is first and foremost a spiritual enemy. You know, my wife and I live pretty close to the San Diego Zoo and at the zoo. Um, there are some really cool animals, including lions. And I got to see them earlier this year with, with our kids when we went. And we're always walking around the neighborhood grabbing coffee or a bite to eat. And suppose one day we're walking as a family and I get an emergency text message alert on my iPhone, warning, lion escape from San Diego Zoo, be on alert. Now, I know the zoo is just a few blocks away, so how do you think I'd respond? How would you respond? You'd want to make sure that you got somewhere safe. You'd be extra vigilant. You'd hold your kids tightly. You'd get inside the house. Well, that's where we're at, spiritually speaking. There's a lion on the loose, and we have to be watchful. But here's the good news. Jesus has conquered and bound Satan. The devil can't act apart from God's permission, and that's exactly yeah. what we see in Job chapter 1. And so so the sons of God, those are uh, the angelic beings in God's court, and the adversary here is Satan. And we, we have an adversary still today, but we have the hope that Jesus has conquered him.